Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Bria Stokes, and you're watching This Week in Tabletop. In product news this week, Diversified Ceramics, an American-made company that specializes in vitrified china, have provided a solution to traditional mocajetes and the concerns they pose with their new mocajetes collection. Each bowl is ideal for queso, salsa, guacamole, and more, and maintains the integrity of featured food items being served. The stunning black iron and granite rock glazes give your tabletop an authentic look while being dishwasher safe and of restaurant quality. Next in product news, EMI Yoshi is an innovative company that provides premium disposable serving wear with a new level of sophistication. Along with the promise of high quality disposable utensils and dinnerware, EMI Yoshi holds a promise to the environment using low energy processes and materials that can be recycled easily. Face item in the Glimmerware collection mirrors the quality and elegance of fine china and utensils with a new level of convenience. With a simple, modern design, the Glimmerware cutlery can be used for virtually any event, from catering to weddings to black tie events. The handle is designed to be balanced, creating a natural feel in the hand. There's more to be excited about when it comes to EMI Yoshi. The company is happy to provide a wide selection of products, unparalleled delivery time, and a genuine desire to help your culinary business. In industry news, a new trend may be emerging in the cocktail world and might just be catching fire soon. Have you ever heard of a grilled cocktail? If you haven't, bartender Eric Tokoski explains just what it is in a men's journal article by Christopher Osborne. Tokoski says that coring different fruits and vegetables and filling them with an array of liquors gives the drink a smoky and flavorful base for a variety of cocktails. Once you get started, the only limits are imagination and time to experiment. Coconuts, bell peppers, mangoes, and more, he explains. Think about the different glassware that these cocktails could be served in. Collins glasses, highball glasses, even serving the drink in the pineapple itself to create an unforgettable tropical experience that ultimately lends to an unforgettable tabletop and dining experience. Lastly, don't forget we're back with another episode of Deconstructing Disposables. In this episode, Andy, Scott, and Dave talk about how to integrate disposables with permanent wear. Uh, you'll see here a, a host of different items and, and they're, they're mixed together. In some aspects, you may not know which one is the disposable item and which one is actually the permanent item, but it does give you a lot of flexibility on things you can do in the kitchen and ways to present food in a fun, whimsical way for your clients. Great conversations to be heard on Deconstructing Disposables. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the latest episodes. Well, that's all we have for now. Be sure to follow us on social media at Tabletop Journal. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.